Today, I'll be presenting the paper, Seeding Power in Intra-Household Bargaining in Times of Economic Anxiety, an Experimental Study in Nepal. And this is joint work with Margaret Boyton, Cecilia Mo, and Su Yu. Now, the research question we're examining in this paper is, how do perceptions of one's economic status relative to that of others affect beliefs regarding women's roles in decision-making? And basically we're operating from a hypothesis here that particularly among married women, facing feelings of economic anxiety may result in them for many different reasons, wanting to cede decision-making power to men within their households. And what we did was that we conducted a 2019 survey experiment in Nepal with approximately 1,000 men and 1,000 women. And we randomly assigned half of our respondents to a control condition in which we primed them by asking a question that made them feel this way to think that the income distribution is quite narrow and they're sort of in the middle of it. They have a typical income. And our treatment condition for another half of respondents was that we primed them to feel like the income distribution is wide and they are toward the bottom of it. So they feel like they actually must make less than others. And the way we did this is by asking them a question, how much income did your family earn last month in NRS? And in the control condition, you can see the five response choices we gave here have very low amounts of money, and most people were in response option three. Whereas the treatment conditions, five response choices are much broader, wider bins, and most people would choose response option one uh, when they're assigned to the treatment condition. So to give you an overview of the procedure that we employed here, we randomly assigned them to be primed to feel poor or not. We asked them about their household income, and then to check whether the prime actually had the effect we thought, we asked about their subjective sense of their relative economic status. And you can see here that, in fact, if you got this deprivation prime, you felt less good about your economic status, like it's a bit lower. And then we asked individuals about their attitudes towards women's roles in decision making. And in particular, we asked seven questions, and these relate to how women should control expenditures, income, how much they should be taking over chores in the household, whether women can work, and the extent to which tradition should be followed and women should follow what their husbands tell them to do. Well, what we found among married women is that being primed to feel poor indeed led them to say that women should be less involved in decision making. This was particularly strong with uh, questions related to expenditures, income, and women doing work. But for men, this prime really didn't do much. And we take this as some evidence that feelings of economic anxiety can actually contribute to uh, less support for women's involvement in decision making among women. But importantly, this comes from women. And this has important implications in a world in which income inequality within countries is becoming more and more pronounced. This may have implications for women's roles in decision making. Uh, and we look forward to your, your comments and thoughts about this research. Thanks.